for me to appreciate men, they just kind of have to be there mm. and be present exactly. and don't just bail. Don't just abandon shit, bruh. Yeah. We need to make it so okay to not be searching for the happily ever after with somebody. I think we both are quite romantic. I think I'm more romantic than you. Are. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> If there was something that you could change hmm. in pop culture, mm -hmm. what would it be? You know, I think in most Hindi films, like especially Bollywood films, I would probably change the way... Nice shoes. Uh, I would probably change the way women are projected. You know how in your typical romantic films, the woman is constantly Hi. waiting. <laughs> And waiting for the hero to come and make something happen, make something happen yeah. and salvage the situation. Yeah. And she's waiting like a damsel in distress, yeah. and we're like, oh, you know, I'm so. <laughs> if there's a problem, women are the first people to go to, you know, get a solution. Yeah. And it's exactly the opposite that you see in pop culture, and that's something that I find very problematic in representation, honestly. There's one montage thing we were shooting for a song, and uh, he says, oh, you know. So it's three girls, we are walking in this like nice space, like a fort kind of space and three men go and they just look at us and be like, mm, you know, like that and slightly borderline if tease, okay? Mm. And the director is like, oh, and then you you guys like blush. And I was like, no, we're not going to blush. We're going to open our chappals and run yeah, behind yeah. them. And he just couldn't understand where we were coming from, even when it comes to representation of the LGBTQIA plus yeah. community, I will never know, no matter how empathetic I can be. Yeah, you still need someone in the room. Exactly. Because you will never know. It's just, exactly. You have to live their life to find out. Yeah. Are you a big gesture <laughs> person? You know, because I think we are spoiled by, you know, in films when we see people doing these big gestures, romantic like gestures. romantic gestures. So, are you in for like big gestures? I'm such a all gesture kind of person and it just comes very naturally to me, man. And, yeah. Uh, I have been told many times by people close to me that I do too much. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'd rather do too much than too not little. to. Yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna just tell you that. Because yeah. I'll never look back and be like, hey, I'm gonna go zara hi kar diya. I never look exactly. back and say that. I'm always like, yeah, you know what I did one time? Let me tell you. And then I make it a fun story, you know? But you know, this big gesture thing, I always felt like if someone needs to really propose to me, I always saw these, you know, big Hollywood films and I was like, oh, you know, you see, someone proposing in a big like baseball stadium with maybe I would like be so embarrassed I would want to like hide and like hide under a chair only. Why? Or what if someone actually proposes to you and you're like uh, no I, I'm not sure <laughs> you know. <laughs> so what do you, what do you do then? I think we both are quite romantic. I think I'm more romantic than you. Yeah yeah I, I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like for instance romantic. this one time I actually I was finishing a shoot and the weekend that I wrapped I just booked myself a flight and I flew out. Yeah. I literally flew 42 hours to spend like 36 hours, yeah. something like that. Yeah. But I just wanted to go see yeah. him and be like, hey man, how are you? Yeah. you okay? And it wasn't like yeah. a, it wasn't out of like this romantic thing. It was just yeah. like, I just wanted to show him that, man, you call me, I'm going to be there for yeah. you. Let me just, let me just show up for you, you know? Yeah. I kind of, for me to appreciate men, they just kind of have to be there mm. and be present exactly. and don't just bail. Don't just abandon shit, bruh. In order to date someone, yes. Do you think it's important to have the same taste? They always ask me, would you ever date someone who doesn't lift? Big answer is always, nah, yeah. nah. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's not out of vanity or anything like that. It's got so much more to do with lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. So because it impacts the way you eat, what time you sleep. Um, and if you're with somebody who doesn't understand that, Man, it becomes a very huge issue. But I think like with other things, like people can have different tastes in music, 100%. Have a completely different taste in movies. I would appreciate that. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's a good balance. Um, must love to travel though, because I love to travel. Absolutely. I cannot date somebody who does not travel. Would always like to date someone who can sing. Like, sur or tal hona chahiye. And my father's just. Let's get a little longer, guys. Let's <laughs> go a little longer. Yeah, so my father used to say he was a musician. He's like, never, never trust a boy who can't sing in tune. Hi, Bichara. And yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in films, how uh, you see the man mm -hmm. making the first move always. Mm -hmm. Do you think that in your life, you, you would leave it to the boys to make the first move, or you would also do it? I think I subconsciously start making the first move <laughs> if I like someone. Because if I see them standing there, I'll be like, Yo, what's up, man? I know. What's going on? You just have it. It just comes. And then I'll be like ordering, oh, would you like some coffee? I'm 
Because I'm thinking of them, not right. them. Aww. They're just in your mind. And then the next time I smell morning coffee, and they don't happen to be there, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember they like this kind of coffee. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Then I'll smile to myself, be like, ah, oh, school, that's cool. You know, like, it just happens so automatically. Don't you do that? I would like to believe I have not made the first move every time. Why? <laughs> not every time. Uh, so you, you tend to do it quite often. Yeah. I'm sure. No, because you know, I think if you if you're vibing with someone, like yeah. if we it both are happens, vibing, it just happens naturally. Yeah, yeah right. So yeah, yeah. you don't you're not waiting for acha usko bolne to pehle acha, like, you know. Yeah. If you sit around too long, you miss the bus. You know, <laughs> yeah. like it's gone. It's yeah. gone. You know. Which is why I really appreciate Bumble. Yeah. Low key, man, because. I don't have to wait for somebody else to come and like check something. If I'm vibing somebody's profile, I'm like, mm, all right, what's up? How's yeah. it going? And, and women I, and make I love the that. first move. And I love that. Yeah. Because like, I think it is about time that we get to make these choices actively. Yeah. I feel like even movies though now should start incorporating all the stuff that's happening in real life, all these changes that are happening. Yeah. That shift is starting to take place where women are making the first move in their own lives and their relationships. And I feel like I wish we were seeing that as well, because I think that's so important. So the thing that annoys me the most in mm. terms of pop culture stuff like that is when we see the depiction of what according to them is an ideal couple, and I'm like, bro, yes, this is not real life. Relationships yeah, are really complex. Messy. It's not in just broad strokes. Maybe I will never have it, but I'm quite awestruck by couples who are really old and have lived a really long time together. So I used to have this neighbor, this uncle auntie, and they were married for 65 years, and I was just sitting with them, and they were. Just telling me about their, you know, how they met each other and stuff. Mm. I think that relationships and the way they're portrayed needs to drastically change. <laughs> because, uh, and I also think we need to make it so okay to not be searching for the happily ever after with somebody. Your relationship between two people cannot be each other's worlds, and that's it. I think the whole point of a relationship is when you're coming together, whether it's romantically or not. Yeah. That partnership, hey, it needs to be a partnership, and it needs to then affect in a very positive way. Yeah. You need to like, you know, uphold each other, and obviously be able to instigate that kind of inspiration um, within each other and beyond. People think like, oh, if it doesn't look like that, then it's not my happily ever after, exactly. which is wrong. Exactly. Because that, okay, exactly. I don't have a white picket fence. I don't have a, a Labrador called Buddy, and you know, there isn't like a mother and a father, and this family construct doesn't look like this. Yeah. Maybe my happily ever after just looks a little different. We have to keep pushing the envelope for also normalizing things. Yeah. We are a country who we are fanatics about films, right? And people are so affected by things that people do in films, right? If we made the right choices in representation, in telling the right kind of stories, we would actually evolve as society and make us grow and get us sensitized to things. Yeah. Way sure. more. A hundred percent. People might think that we know each other pretty well, but I think it's time to get to know each other a little better yes. by playing this game. Fill uh, the prompt. Ooh, ooh. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, your favorite TV sh TV or f movie couple is Peaky Blinders, Grace and Thomas Shelby. Oh my God! Yes. <sighs> my personality is a mix of these three characters. So a little bit of Damini, uh -huh. of course. Of course. Hanum in Margarita. Okay. Cool. And a little bit of Rohini uh, from Inside Edge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One thing you'd like to see more in upcoming shows and movies. Ah oh man, more LGBTQIA plus representation for sure. Three reasons yeah. why you should be the main character of your own life. Because it's my life. One. Two, Because one. it's my life. Another one. Because it's my life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A character I you'd like to be best friends with. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Let's go. One my go-to nostalgic song from my childhood is Purano She Diner Kotha Bulbi Kire Ayoshe If you could change the ending of your favorite film, mm -hmm. what would it be? Ah, <sighs> it would be that they go their separate ways <laughs> and then they come back later to oh. reassess the situation. Interesting. You immediately fall in love with the person when they say That their favorite movie is in the mood for love. There we go. You know, like how you said, like there was this uh, married couple that you knew for like that was together for like 65 years. Yeah. Hey man, make a movie on that. Show us how it's done. Absolutely. Like, like show us the true events yes. that unfolded that helped these people stay together for 65 years. Yeah. Show me all the things that they went through: ups, downs, heartbreak, betrayal, and then I'll be like, okay, now I can't have a manual. This I can use. You know, give me something I can use. <laughs>